Here she's lovely. Lovely. I hit on her. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you haven't fucked her since you got married. That's yeah. weird. But everything's do weird. Do you think you'll do it after the baby's born? I, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. You're not sure. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a room all decorated for the baby? <laughs> You know, the Jews used to wait. They wait till the baby's born. Yeah, they born. don't buy anything. Do yeah. you buy? Before? He's not going to buy anything after the baby is born. <laughs> <laughs> after the baby moves out. <laughs> no, do you have yes. a crib and do you have everything all set up? Yeah. yeah. You, you fixed up a nursery? Oh, yeah, she did. Yeah. <laughs> did that room used to be like your office or something and now it's gone? It was just some extra room there. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, you know, they got a new place, so she probably already picked it out with a, oh. a nursery in mind. Oh. How many bedrooms you got? Three? Uh, yeah. 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 Do you touch your stomach to feel the movement of the baby? Talk to the baby with that funny voice of yours? Do you read stories to the baby? <laughs> Is it bad? Or, do you ever get sentimental like that? Do you no. Ever, you don't no. want to feel, did you, you've never felt the baby kick? Or no, no. Never? No. You're not kidding, are you? No. You talk to the baby like a parent? What do you do, Gil? Uh, <laughs> did you, you, do you ever touch your wife's stomach? Of course. Yeah. I was you excited. You gotta feel the baby wow. kick, yeah. You never touched her stomach no. to feel the baby no. kick? That's amazing. It's almost like you want to act like the baby's not coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that his girlfriend just got fat. Right, right. Uh-oh, my bad news. Okay. I know, I was, just, I was looking at uh, Gilbert's DVD. I was looking at the credits. You know that Dara and Gilbert are the executive producers oh. of the DVD. Oh. <laughs> wow, Gilbert. She's in the business? She is. She's in the music business. She is no, she's in Gilbert's yeah. business. Yeah, what? She, my is she a manager? Is, is she managing well, not, you? Not not the uh, manager, but on that one, she like uh, sort of like found someone because I was always talking about you know I should just get something to sell at the shows finally. I see. And she finally helped put it together. Uh, I see. Yeah. Is I she going to be more involved in Gilbert business? Well, Gilbert, you wrote the DVD and you yeah. you came up with all the material. For the DVD. <laughs> I mean, you what paid is that for the money. Project? I mean, yeah. I don't know what she did. She yeah. probably I, I, she probably helped figure out a way to get a package and distribute it, which is for she Gilbert made a typical. Phone calls. Hasn't she ever said to you, Gilbert, I want you to feel the baby, I want you to touch Oh, uh, yeah. And you just say, I'm not interested? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Does she feel hurt when you do that? I'm sure. Yeah. Are you going to be yeah. in the room when the baby is born? Uh, that I don't know yet. So it's a discussion. In yeah, other words, yeah. You've, you've been invited. You just have yeah, not responded. Yeah. Can you imagine him standing there like a block of wood? <laughs> while they're trying yeah. to get this baby out of this woman? Maybe that'll be the moment that'll make Gilbert yeah, he'll become bond a with the father, baby. Right. No, I, I cringe at those moments in every like sitcom or romantic comedy that has the birthing scene. What do you yes. think it is? Are you not allowed to have anything good in your life? Are you not allowed to have any joy or emotion in your life? Is that what's going uh, on? Maybe that is it. You feel you're being punished in some way? Maybe. Does she cry a lot, this woman you married, uh, uh, Dara? Uh, not, not so much in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> but she, in other words, when this woman turns to you and she says, I'm being serious now, yes, i got to yes, know this. Yes. She says, Gilbert, the baby's kicking. You've got to feel this. Yes. You'll just go no and storm out of the uh, room? Uh, not storm out, but I'll no and freeze up. Do you explain? You go, listen, I'm very uncomfortable touching you. Yeah. And the baby. <laughs> yes. Are you two sleeping in the same bed? <laughs> <laughs> That's Gilbert getting out of town. But are you two sleeping in the same bed? Uh, yeah. So sometimes... Gilbert has you... a big nightshirt on when he goes to bed in a, in a she, cap. Has she right. recommended therapy for you at all in any way yet? Oh, no, seriously. Oh, oh, sure. No, seriously. Has yeah, she... yes. Are you doing it? No. No. <laughs> but I'm just wondering, I mean, because even when, you know, you're sleeping together, you know, sometimes you cuddle, yeah. you can feel the baby kick, or Gilbert do doesn't, you cuddle? Gilbert doesn't want to do therapy because it might ruin his personality. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what would happen if you got social graces? I, I, I might not be as good on shows like Celebrity Paranormal. <laughs> might, might hurt my... Uh... You were the best one on that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Gilbert is going to be, even despite the fact that he's about to become well, a father, be working. he's going to be at Caroline's, 8 o'clock, on Broadway in Manhattan this Thursday. That's this week, this Thursday That's, to see Gilbert. Yeah. And maybe his executive producer, Daryl. Yeah. yeah. Now, Gilbert, you, will you be taken off the road? Meaning, as when you get into the ninth month, I know a lot of guys who travel a lot are grounded because they need to be close to the birth of the baby. No, I don't think any arrangements are made like that. Yeah. Have you said to her, look, I don't really want to care for a baby. I'll go out and make a living. You take care of this baby. Is that the arrangement? Is that the arrangement? I, I haven't said it, but who knows what will happen then. Right. Right. Well, you gotta You're just going to wait to see... Oh, yeah. Oh, Let's see if he feels anything. <laughs>
Okay, but what happens if you really are like Brooke Shields and you, you see the baby and you hate the baby? <laughs> what was that? Um, Postpartum. Uh, the girl who, uh, Marie Osmond. Right. She got in a car and she started driving across country. <laughs> Is there any chance you might leave town? I, I hadn't heard the Marie Osmond. <laughs> oh, but seriously. I see a lot of parallels with Gilbert and Marie Osmond. Yeah. What if you have the baby seriously, and you just look at, and you just go, I don't want this thing in my apartment. Yeah. I, I had a perfect life. I, I mean, uh, this is crazy. I, 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 it's too much for me. What are you gonna do? Yeah, build, like a person build a dog house outside. Uh, like a person who has a pet and they don't yes. like the responsibility. There's no pound to take the baby. What about you moving out of Manhattan, getting a house on Long Island? <laughs> I see you in Westchester. Oh, Gilbert, he's got to find he's got to find the right temple. Yes, yes. Yeah. very exciting news. For yes, you. it's very exciting. Congratulations, I see Gilbert cleaning gutters. <laughs> exactly. You know, it's so funny. Gilbert's such an interesting character. Like we've known him forever, and somebody just sent me an email. It's you know, do you know that Gilbert has a sister who's like an award-winning photographer? It's been no. in the New York Times, and I looked her up on the on the web, and I looked at her bio, and you can't find any evidence that, that they're, they're related. related. <laughs> Except for her photograph. But you have a sister that's a, oh, a, famous, yeah, she's a yeah. famous photographer, yeah. right? That is your sister. Yes. Is that the sister I met in the hospital? Uh, did you, you just meet one? or I, have I two. met your mom and I met your sis one sister. I forget which one was there when yeah. you were there. This one didn't look like a photographer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What, they have like a goatee or no, something? No. And, they, and they, a parade? They, I don't know. I bet you she wasn't the photographer. Yeah. They were a lot like you, your mom and your sister. They just kind of didn't talk or yeah, anything. yeah. You all just sat there. <laughs> well, it's a fascinating look into yes. your private life. Is your photographer sister the one with the the uh, kids you wheel around town? Uh, no, that's the other the, one. The yeah, other sister gives you all the right. kids. Uh, okay. Well, what an accomplished family. Yes. <laughs> the Gottfrieds. No wonder your wife took the name. <laughs> Well, this is exciting. It's like the Adams family, basically. Right. Now, are you going to get like a summer home? Because the kids need some place in the summertime. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Somewhere where you can go chill out. Yes. <laughs> so the family can be closer. <laughs> well, this is, I uh, honestly, despite what you heard, Robin, I heard Gilbert is in a panic. Well, I just don't know what to believe. <laughs> what I should really we believe? I don't know what to believe. Just believe me, right? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> You're yeah. going with All his right. story. Well, there you go. Uh, Gilbert Gottfried is going to be uh, at Caroline's at 8 o'clock on Broadway in Manhattan. That's Thursday. And you can call for reservations, 212-757-4100. Now, Gilbert has a DVD, Dirty Jokes. <laughs> and which he is, needs you to buy this thing. Yes, he really does. <laughs> GilbertGottfried.com. Go check him out. I think you're going to like it. Now, Gilbert, uh, you didn't answer me. Are you going to the Lamaze classes or any kind of Not so classes? far. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go to Tim. Tim, you're yeah, on the air. Uh oh Bayshore, Long Island. Tim, you there? Well, Go ahead. You're on well. the air. You're on the air. <laughs> the air is yours. Oh. Hello? Hello? <laughs> You're on the air. The air is yours. Out? Yes. Hey, now. Hey, now. <laughs> Luder Libby Scooter, Luder Scooter Scooter Libby. Libby. Looter Skibby? Luder. <laughs> <laughs> Luder. Well, you know, Scooter Libby, I'm not an expert in this field, but I'll tell you what. When there is a, a branch of the government, a, a branch of our society, FBI, CIA, CIA particularly, a lot of people need to work undercover. And what this guy was accused of doing was the most treasonous act you can do. You think he did it, or he was set up? I think he was in on it, but I think a lot of people are getting their asses uh, covered by the Scooter Libby. But this is treason. When you reveal the name of a person working undercover in the CIA, and that's what he's accused of doing, right, Robin? Well, that was not what he was tried for. What was he tried for? Lying. He was tried for obstructing Lying. justice right. and perjury, yes. So, you know, here we are trying to find out who is the traitor to our country's security. George Bush. Well, I don't know how high up this thing goes. You think you'll pardon him before you... Yes. Can... Scooter Lip, Looter Skibby <laughs> will get a pardon from President Bush. Before? Before, he, oh, as he is leaving office. Not before. He can't do it before. If he does it before, it'll set off a firestorm of people screaming cover-up. Scooter Libby will be... If, if, first of all, he'll do an appeal. 
After the appeal, if he goes to prison, he will not spend much time there. President Bush, at the end of his term, will uh, pardon this guy. He's a, he's a Bush insider. He is a dear friend of uh, the families. And he will not go to jail. All right. I but you got to understand how serious this thing is. I if I was in the fucking CIA risking my life for this country and I have a cover, see, uh, and, 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 and my own government is outing me, I'd be furious. I'd be more furious than Gilbert having a baby. <laughs> <laughs> and you can imagine the fury and the rage. By the way, good morning, Robin, Audie, George, awesome having you on the show. Uh, I got a feeling Scooter Libby is really a small potatoes in this, small player. I think uh, you're right. Yeah. But it's a serious offense, and it can't be taken lightly. I felt bad. I was watching the guy on TV, and you see he's going to prison and this and that. And you, know, you feel bad. You know, this is what's wrong with the jury system in our country. You know, even these guys who murder people, people who, like, drive their kids into a lake, they get on trial, they clean them up. You see a poor woman there, they go, oh, she's depressed and she had a problem. And you look at me, you go. And you don't see the victim because right. the victim's gone. You don't want to send these people to jail, but someone's got to go to jail. Well, that's my question. Why don't people feel bad about the people who the crime was committed against? Because you said it. They're not there. Can't see them. You're feeling bad for him. Right. He could have kept his mouth shut. That's right. I think he was a poor guy. He was told to take the rap. And he told he'd be pardoned. Yeah, well, that could be. We don't know. All right, thank you. Thank you, Howard. Oh, I'm, I'm terrific. I got an answer for everything. <laughs> no, you are so right. I can't agree with you more. But I'm this a big fucker. A, believe me. But I don't like this. You felt bad for him because he's no, got to go to jail. I'm making a point about the. No, you don't. You understand something? I don't like to see anyone go to jail. You don't like to see anybody's hey. life ruined. But you got to understand what we're talking about here. Gilbert, we're talking about treason. Yes. <laughs> now I'm angry. All right. Yeah. Good. Accountability for that. Uh huh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Aso, man. Do you ever say Aso? What does Aso mean, by the way? Well, that is a legitimate Japanese yeah. phrase. It's the only ah, one I know. Is that so? Is what it means. Ah, is that ah. so? Ah. Is that so? Ah, ah so. so. Ah, so. Well, not quite that way. <laughs> ah, so. And usually they say deska. Uh -huh. Is that so? Ah, so deska. I see. Ah, so deska. <laughs> Doesn't George have a beautiful voice, Gil? Yes. I mean, Dawn. seriously. He, he has I, a, a beautiful tone to his voice, unlike you, who's yes. very great. You, know, you look like my uncle. <laughs> he was, uh, I was going to say his aunt. He's the Coca-Cola representative uh, 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 in, yeah. in Japan. He's a what representative? Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. <laughs> in Japan. He, he was a... Uh, executive VP of, or something. You got to come in with a photo of your uncle. He looks very much like you. <laughs> Just look at your and own And his photo. name is Hirohito Gatsu. <laughs> maybe, no, it was Gilbert. Susumu Nakamura. Right. My mother's maiden name. And that's the character I'm playing on Heroes. You look like Susumu Nakamura. <laughs> maybe I, I've Gilbert gotten that a lot. <laughs> Gilbert, are you a and Trekkie? You, do you do you follow the career no, of George? No, you know Chikai? that's that's. I mean, I know about it just through it being on the air, but I never really followed it. You seem to yes. only know TV shows and movies from the '50s and and uh, earlier, an earlier. Yes. You know, it doesn't seem like you had any kind I, of cultural awareness. I well, now especially, I don't know. I, I mean, mean, I never saw The O.C. Never saw. Lost. But you, Never but, saw you desperate but Georgie housewives. Jessel impressions. I mean, these yes. guys. Can... <laughs> My father likes when you do Georgie Jessel. He lived to a hundred. That's right. Hello, Mama. Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> Mama Nakamura. <laughs> Gilbert, were you adopted? Maybe you are an Asian <laughs> <Yes>. baby. <laughs> well, uh, Gilbert is here. He does many great characters. One of my favorite is uh, Dice Gottfried. Yeah. <laughs> I, like... I do that. Yes, you do you Dice Gottfried. You don't even know. Wow. In fact, here you are calling someone named Bindi. Have you oh. heard this one? Oh, I may, may, let me see. <laughs> All right. Let's go to uh, this. Here is the guys took Gilbert doing Dice Godfrey from our show and had him make a phony phone call. Some of Gilbert's greatest work. Yes. Some of, we take Gilbert's voice and <laughs> you know like what we do with you, George. We use your voice. We yeah. use we use Gilbert. It's like working with Lassie. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Bendy, you wanna Bendy on it? Oh. Bendy, this hello. Hey, Bindi! Wanna swim around my stingray? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> By the way, 
way, this guy, we had a, Richard had to find a guy named Bindi in the yellow page. Oh, that ain't easy. Yeah. Hello? Well, hello there. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Paul Winchell. <laughs> <laughs> well, this motherfucker. Hello? Hi, Johnny. How's your health when doing, Mama? Oh. Hey, did you get that paradise, Andrew? Am I bullshitting on the motherfucker? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Yes. Who you want to speak to? Bindi! Who you want to speak to? Yes. Yes! Motherfucker, yes! <laughs> Who you want to speak to? Oh! <laughs> 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 oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh take it. <laughs> oh hell yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yes. Yeah. I fuck Desi on his. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you're just being silly. <laughs> yeah, I trust you. Oh sure. Oh yeah, sure I trust you. I fucked your mom last night. Holy mackerel! <laughs> oh my goodness, you're an animal. <laughs> <laughs> I want to fuck your big droopy yellow tits. I'm gonna fuck your tits. <laughs> no, I can't even get a hard on. You can't get on hard. No. When you got a pussy, you don't get on hard. <laughs> Are you gay? Yes. You are gay? I have sex with the figs. You have sex with figs? Yes. You fucking asshole. <laughs> You're at your funniest. <laughs> Why do you make an album of phony phone calls? <laughs> that is terrific. Do you like that? Yeah, there's that, and then what was, the other one was a uh, uh, gay bathhouse. Yeah, the gay bathhouse is great too. Uh, let's uh, let's go. Well, I'll play that later in the yes. uh, in the show. Uh, let's go to Andrew. Who has a question for Gilbert Dice Gottfried. <laughs> hey Andrew, go ahead. Hey, the only thing Asian about Gilbert is a small cock. <laughs> hey, hey, Gilbert's running into some bad luck. You know, first of all, he gets his uh, girlfriend pregnant because he's too cheap to wear a condom. <laughs> then he gets married. And now Affleck is dropping the duck, so he's going to pull that cash. Affleck duck that you do the voice of. Oh yes. They decided it was a turnoff, and they're getting rid of the duck. <laughs> did you? Did they call you and inform you? Uh, they not yet. They haven't like totally uh, yet. Right now, I think they're in between. You know, I thought the Affleck duck was very effective. Oh yeah, that's how everyone knows Affleck. about the company. I never heard yeah. of Affleck till you started doing that. I, well, what happened is they have a new guy. At Affleck, so it's kind of like he's got to put his mark yeah, on. Things. Yeah, so oh. it's basically like the kind of I kind of thinking of like, hey, you know, the we should change the formula to Coca Cola. But it was a lot of money to you, right? To, yes. to, to be the voice of the Affleck. Yeah, show. but so 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 far they're still doing it. Okay, yeah. so we don't know yet. It's not because yes. yeah, we yeah. all read in the paper you were out of a job. Yeah, they had made an announcement that they were going to get rid of it, but okay. then I thought. Uh, they took him aside and said, hey, that's how people know we exist. That's right. Well, maybe they're rethinking it is yes. what you're saying. All right, Gilbert, great. It sounds like your life's really on target. <laughs> you're really on track. It's great. All right, Gilbert Gottfried this Thursday night, 8 o'clock at Caroline's. And also, don't forget, uh, GilbertGottfried.com for Dirty Jokes, the DVD. I'm going to take a break here. When we come back, Robin's going to do a little news. George, you could comment on some of the things that are going on in Ooh, our society. Yes. 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 I would love that. Hey, comment on the news. <laughs> <laughs> I love current events. In between, in between fucking Gilbert and the ass. <laughs> well, there's two things I like to eat. Yes. Current events and fucking Gilbert and the ass. <laughs> you do a tremendous uh, George Takei impression. Uh, well, he's a, he's he looks a little Asian. Yes. Maybe he's related mm. to my uncle. I, I'd like to bring a little Asian up to my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to do an announcement right here, Mr. Takei? I'd be happy All right, to. here he is, George Takei, our announcer. This is George Takei, and I'm fluent in three languages, English, Japanese, and Spanish, which means 
I can have sex with men from most of the civilized world. Now, if I could only learn French, and Italian, and Mandarin, and German, I could bang the entire United Nations. <laughs> All right. We'll be back right after these words. I'm going to gargle with it.